Hello everybody, welcome back to The Just Notebook Review. I'm your host, Joel Michael. I just got done reviewing the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14. Go ahead and click the pop-out banner in the top right corner to watch it. Unfortunately, the G14 only came with a 512GB NVMe SSD. That's just not enough for a thorough gaming notebook reviewer such as myself, so for this video I'm going to show you how to replace the NVMe SSD with something a little bit larger. There are a few ways to go about doing things here. The easiest but not cheapest route is to get an external NVMe adapter so you can easily clone the original Windows installation and thereby keep all your important spreadsheets and not have to worry about backing up your personal crap. The method I'll be using in this video is an easier and most likely cheaper way of going about things. I'm going to reinstall Windows 10 using a 16 gig flash drive. All you need to do is go to Microsoft's website and download vanilla Windows 10 and use that to make a bootable flash drive. Back up your important docs, pics, and home videos to a different flash drive, online storage, or an external hard drive, or even network attached storage if you're fancy like that. Remove the bottom cover of the laptop. There are at least two different sizes of screws, so leave a diagram for when you're putting it all back together again. Take out the original NVMe SSD and put the new one in. Feel free to carefully peel the thermal pads off the old drive and place them on the new one. They probably won't stick to the new drive as well, but they don't need to stick all that well anyway. If you opt out of this step, at least be sure to replace the black slip cover to keep the SSD from impacting the metal inside of the bottom panel. After putting the laptop back together again, insert your bootable Windows 10 flash drive and then turn the laptop on. Follow the prompts to install Windows. You won't need to install drivers to use Wi-Fi, and once you connect to the internet, all necessary drivers will begin to download and install automatically. This will take a good amount of time, so be patient as there are a lot of updates to install. Once a good number of updates are installed, head over to the ASUS homepage to download the rest of the drivers you'll need. You'll need the model number of your laptop handy, so if you don't have it, check your My ASUS account, which should have downloaded automatically. Or you can look on the box your laptop came in, if it's still around. You'll want to download at least the AMD chipset drivers and Armory Crate from the ASUS website. You can also get the software for the lights on the back of the monitor if you have that model of the G14. Once the drivers have been installed, go ahead and pack on your personal docs and sh**. Now you're all set. Enjoy your G14 with a new lease on life thanks to a larger NVMe SSD. This has been a tutorial about how to upgrade the NVMe SSD inside the ASUS ROG Zephyrus G14. If you liked the video, go ahead and click the like button. If I left something out or you still have questions, don't click the dislike button. No one will like you, and you'll have percussive diarrhea for four days. Instead, ask any questions not answered in this video in the comments section below. I'm sure someone will answer them. I certainly won't because I'm a lazy bastard. Thanks for watching and you guys, have a good night.